Okay, in this video we're going to uh, actually add three numbers rather than two numbers so we can see how we do in assembly language programming three numbers because it's a little bit different because we can only add two numbers at a time. So let's go ahead and see how this works. All right, so here is the program. You can see we're going to input the three numbers. Then we're going to move them to memory. Once, I mean, put them in memory. Then we're going to move them from memory to registers. At the end of this point here, we'll have three numbers in the registers. And then we'll start adding them. So we'll add the first two together first. And then we'll place that answer into a register, into register four. Then we'll add the two registers together. And that will give us a our 10 answer. And then we'll use MAM to move them back to memory. And that's what I'm explaining down here. This was on an old flash uh, file, so I had to get rid of it, but there was no way of uh, starting up the software again because it only works on a 32-bit system. All right. All right, so here we go. So the first one is inputting 3 to memory 1. There it is. Next one is to move 5 into memory 2. There it is. The third one is input the number 2 into memory 3. Bang, there it is. The next one is going to be to move the first one into a register. And boom, there it goes up to there. Next one's going to move to 5 to register 2. And there it goes. Bang. And the last one is going to be the move to number 2, which is down here, into register number 3. Now we have those three numbers there. We're ready to start adding. So there is our next uh, um, uh, opcode. And that's going to be adding the f 3 and 5 together. When we do that, the number 10, the number 8, 3 and 5, 8 shows up there. Now we have to do something with it. And the next one we're going to use is MAM, which is move accumulator to, no, MAR, move accumulator to register. And there it is, MAR, register 4. We're going to take this 8 and put it into 4. Now we have 8 and 2. That's the next thing we're going to add together, those 8 and 2. And then 10 will show up in accumulator. Bang, there's our 10. Now we have to get that into memory. So we're going to use our final answer, which is MAM. And we we'll move accumulator to memory. And as soon as it does... Okay, so now we have our 10. So that's that's exactly how the the CPU simulator just shows you pictorially how we do the opcodes and operands. Every time we run a program, we have to put all our numbers into memory. In assembly language programming, then we have to get those numbers from memory into registers so we can start doing math. Once we get them into registers, then we can do two numbers at a time do the math, and then put this result into the accumulator. Then we have to take the accumulator value and move it into a register if it's not our final answer. Once we have done all our math and we have our final answer in the accumulator, then it's time to use MAM and move it to memory. And then if this was a real program, say not using assembly language, what would we do with a 10? Well, we'd we put it out to the monitor, or we would put it into, say, the hard drive to store it into a cell of Excel. So this is just the very, very basics of computer programming. But I really want you to understand that when you write your JavaScript, it's converting it into bytecode, which is the assembly language code. So all this is being done in the background. Uh, JavaScript makes it look like it's magic, all right? So because we don't have to do all this stuff. But I want you to know what the computer was doing with your code. And that's why we use the CPU simulator. or well, I use a CPU simulator. So you can see how all this works. And that's why we start with assembly language first. And then we move on to JavaScript afterwards.